Today, let's explore how the pros use the Flame Flinger, Grand Warden, and Super Bowlers to easily three-star Town Hall 14 villages. What's going on, boys? My name is Joe, welcome back to the show, and today we're gonna take a look at the Super Baller Smash at Town Hall 14. This is by far one of the more popular ground armies used by the pro players against those tightly packed defensive bases or symmetrical designs that you're gonna see a lot in both Legends League and your basic clan war. So the army that we're exploring today has a multitude of different components. We got healers, we got witches, Super Bowlers, a flame flinger and most importantly all of the heroes with the supporting pets that might be something that's a little different for you if you're just starting out town hall 14 like i am but we're going to save this video for future reference we're going to start out on the right side of this village with the use of the flame flinger now one of the big keys about where the flame flinger is placed is that there is no mortars or hidden teslas within range of it so you're going to get a ton of value on the far right side of this village with the flame flinger now on the opposite flank down here in the bottom corner of the base we have the grand warden on ground mode we have five healers and we also have the electro owl doing a bit of a warden walk and you're going to notice that one of the big keys of this attack is patience you must wait for the funnel you got to allow these buildings to fall to these two different items at the same time so the warden's going to take out the dark elixir drill move up into the fast pace archer tower while the flame flinger is going in and targeting the single target inferno tower next very basic stuff but it's just a matter of patience a lot of us just don't have it you're gonna see this attacker place a wizard and they're gonna start funneling the super bowlers archer queen and other troops up through the center of this village to take on the clan castle town hall and the eagle artillery now there goes our ice golem followed up by the Archer Queen, a pack of Super Bowlers, and some balloons. They're gonna work their way into the center of this base. They're gonna follow up with a poison spell on the witches from the clan castle and a rage spell. Now, one of the unique things about the Super Bowlers is that they have a third bounce, unlike its predecessor, the regular bowler. So you can take out a lot of these buildings in the center really, really fast with a group or just three or four of the Super Bowlers. Now, keep in mind when you're doing multi-layered attacks like this you can only focus on one thing at a time so in this scenario the attacker is focused mainly on his super bowlers the destruction of the eagle artillery and the town hall so he's going to use rage spells and move the super bowlers in to get a bounce on the town hall he's going to use the warden's ability to protect those super bowlers and he's going to drop another rage spell now i need to stop it there that way you can see the placement of the bar barbarian king the king is going to be placed on the far offset with two witches preparing for the destruction of the flame flinger which is going to in fact release a couple of yetis and some rocket balloons to flank in on the defenses he's going to drop a super wall breaker to open up the compartment into the single target inferno tower and the archer queen has ventured off to the far left side of the base so we have a little bit of a split on our troops baby dragon placed up top to move the king inside the compartment his ability will be used once the single target locks onto him with its beam and he's going to drop the royal champion and freeze that single target inferno tower invisibility spell on the archer queen to protect her versus the scatter shot and the single target and another free spell in the center of the base to move the royal champion down into the enemy champion and the air defense now there was a jump spell placed for the archer queen but of course in her normal fashion she's going to completely ignore it and the royal champion is going to have to move in to take down the final single target the use of her ability to destroy the remaining defenses and we got a ton of troops left over to three star this base so you can really kind of see for yourself the symmetrical design just simply does not work against armies like this there's your army right there let's take a look at one more replay 
So in this attack, we have a completely different base design from the last. We got a town hall that is offset from the center of the base. We have an eagle artillery, a scatter shot, and a scatter shot in their own individual compartments. So you got to think outside the box when it comes to these different style bases. Not every single attack is going to be done exactly the same way. Some components might be used the same way, but you're going to use your balloons and your baby dragon and your wizards in different methods. So let's go ahead and see how this plays out. He's going to start on the left side of the village with a balloon and a flame flinger and a pack of balloons to go after this mortar. The goal is to keep his flame flinger alive and this mortar right there will cause issues as it gets closer. Unfortunately, he's unable to take it down right this moment. At the bottom side of the base, he has his warden walk started with the grand warden on ground mode. He has his healers and his electro owl working its way up into the compartment that houses one of the scatter shots. He's going to allow these items to work, but he's also going to be using a baby dragon in a moment to start working on the opposite side funnel with the flame flinger. Now notice on the far right side over here next to the warden walk, there are buildings right here. Don't place anything over here. No uh, Barbarian King, no Yeti, no Super Bowlers, nothing. Because if you want your Warden to go in with your Super Bowlers in the main effort or entry point of the base, he will walk with whatever you place on that side. So don't do it. So he's working on the scatter shot because he has the range. He has the Flame Flinger working on a cannon and it's going to start working its way up into the Eagle Artillery. He's going to end up using a couple of Super Wall Breakers to open up both his entry point on the left side. He's got the Archer Queen placed, and he's going to be placing another Super Wall Breaker on the far right side for his Barbarian King later on. He's got the Queen and a Headhunter and the Warden taking out the Barbarian King. He has the Ice Golem placed, and the Flame Flingers working its way into the Eagle Artillery. He's going to drop a Balloon momentarily on the Mortar. He's got his Super Wall Bowlers moving inside the base under a rage spell taking on the ice golem from the clan castle he's going to drop a poison spell and then on the right side he's going to drop the barbarian king and the two witches so you can see the difference between the two attacks very similar style but a little bit of a timing difference the super bowlers are going to cut through the first layer walls he's going to drop a jump spell for them to push through the opposite side of the base with a rage spell and the warden's ability now since the witches were struggling with the barbarian King, he's going to release his Royal Champion to take on the Wizard Tower and the Bomb Tower and start working its way up into the Single Target Inferno Tower. And he's also going to use his Barbarian King's ability to take on the Scatter Shot on the far right side of the base. Super Bowlers have pushed through. They've taken down the Town Hall. The Flame Flinger is still working. It's moving towards some defenses, but it's going to release its contents in the Yetis and the Rocket Balloon. King's ability was used. Royal Champion working its way through. Super Bowlers and the Queen are caught up in the Poison Bomb from the Town Hall, but you're really safe to go at this point. You still got all of your heroes, and he's also got two abilities and a free spell remaining. If you enjoyed today's content, make sure you leave a like, and we will see you in the next video.